Hi. In this lesson, we are going to analyze transactions into a ledger. We have done that previously, but we haven't had to recalculate balances at the end, which is what we're going to do today. So you should have printed the analyzing transaction into a ledger practice assignment number three, as well as the forms for practice number three. It'll be easier to follow along and do your questions as I assist you. Remembering back what a transaction is and how it changes at least two account names, that's what we have to recall and remember today. For Rachel Moser, an attorney, she receives her revenue from legal services. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze the transactions that she has occurred in the last week. First transaction says paid cash for October rent $500. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is what are the keywords? The first set of keywords, of course, are paid cash. So does that mean we have more cash, which would be a debit on the left hand side, or we have less cash, which would be a credit on the right hand side? If you suggested that we have less cash and the amount should go on the credit or the right hand side, you would be correct. So we're going to put $500 on the credit side or the right hand side of our cash ledger. What is the other part of our keywords in our transaction? October rent. So that's what we're paying for. Do we have an account which implies for rent? Yes, of course we do. Okay, so what we need to decide is which side are we going to put the rent on? That is correct. We need to put the rent on the left hand side or the debit side to show eventually that that subtracts from our capital amount. Okay, so we have our two accounts that are affected, cash and rent expense. We have one amount on the credit side and one amount on the debit side, which is what is required. Transaction number two, received cash for legal services. Once again, think about what the keywords are. Received cash. So are we going to put the amount on the left hand side or the debit side to add to cash? or the right hand side, the credit side, to subtract from cash. If you said the debit side or the left hand side, you would be correct. Okay, because, because we're performing a service for someone, we have received cash, so we are getting $600. Okay, why are we getting that money? We're getting it from legal services. Are we going to put that amount on the left hand side of legal services, which in turn would eventually subtract from what our business is making, or are we going to put it on the right hand side, which shows that our business is making more money? Correct, it's going to go on the right hand side. So we enter $600 for transaction number two. Transaction number three, paid cash for new office furniture, $200. Think about our key words, paid cash and new office furniture. So if we're paying cash, we are losing cash. So it's going to go on the credit side, $200. And 
we've purchased new office equipment or office furniture sorry so we are going to put it on the debit side of office furniture to show that we have more office furniture available to us please pause at any time and rewind if you wish to if you're if I'm going too fast question number four received cash from the sale of old office furniture ninety five dollars so we received some cash which means that we have more cash and we're going to put that amount on the left hand side or the debit column for cash and our other key word is that we sold old office furniture yes we have an account for office furniture we just used it in the last transaction we're selling some of our office furniture so do we have more office furniture right now or are we going to have less when we sell it correct we're going to have less so we're going to put ninety five dollars on the credit side of our office furniture account transaction number five we have done one similar to this where we received cash for legal services so once again our keywords received cash so do we have more cash or less cash correct when you receive cash you have more so we are going to add to the right left hand side of cash and we have performed more legal services which adds to what our company is worth so we're going to put it on the right hand side or the credit side of legal services transaction number six paid cash to the Huffer company twenty five dollars once again what are our key words paid cash so when we look at our cash T account we know that when we pay cash it's going to go on the left hand the right hand side sorry which is the decrease side and the credit side so we are going to pay cash twenty five dollars and looking at the Huffer company which is a liability are we going to put it on the right hand side which would add to our balance or are we going to put it on the left hand side which would subtract from what we owe Huffer company correct because we're paying them some money then we would put it on the left hand side of Huffer company oops sorry that didn't go in the right place the left hand side of Huffer company there we go I would like you to try number seven and number eight on your own and I'll be back okay as we continue with number seven we paid cash for supplies when we pay cash it goes on the right hand side of cash because we have less and we're purchasing supplies and so do we have more supplies or less supplies correct we have more supplies number eight we paid cash for taking a client out to dinner fifty six dollars once again we paid cash so it goes on the right hand side of cash fifty six dollars because we have less in our account and where are we going to put that taking a client out to dinner we need to look at our expenses and decide which one fits best correct miscellaneous expense is where we need to put it taking the client out to dinner would subtract from what our business is worth and so therefore we need to put it on the left hand side of miscellaneous expense 